guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss my Pan Lab Palette for 2018. I'm going to be very ambitious next year because I have some old shadows in my collection. I have a lot of dupes for neutral shadows. A lot. But I can't really decide what palette I'm going to pan. So the palette that I'm going to be updating you guys on. You know what I mean? Next year I am going to do internship and hopefully I will get a job so there's no more school so I can't really be that bold with my makeup maybe I really don't know what the makeup dress code I don't know what you call it what that is appropriate for the workspace I, I really don't know <laughs> and I feel a little bit awkward talking about it with my colleagues you know I want your opinion on, uh, on stuff and have in mind that I'm going to pen mostly neutral. In my opinion, something tells me that that will be boring. But I really want to work on a palette and really hit pen on a lot of shadows. So get a lot of use out of my collection. I'm not going to do one, one, one palette. I thought so a few months ago, but that's not for me. Uh, I tried one week bottom palette the past couple of months and that didn't really work out. So I want you guys opinion on two palettes and uh, what you think could be fun to watch and what you just think in general. I have two palettes that I have considered panning in 2018. So I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, I know that is a beast but it's a pretty neutral palette that can work for every single day and then I have my W7 uh, the Naughty Nine in Midsummer Nights that is a complete dupe for the MAC Amber Times 9 palette, I think. So I will give you, I will talk a bit, I will talk about the palettes, you know. For the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, I'm sure you know how it looks like and you know the colors are pretty neutral and you know they are pressed hard into the pan and stuff like that. I have been like playing around with this palette quite a bit in the last week or so and I have a feeling that I can work with the shades pretty nicely and they can work for every single day and I can have a bold look but I can at the same time have a pretty neutral look. So, so this is my first option and I have seen quite a few ladies uh, in the panning community panning this this year and it scares me because it takes a long time for them going through this palette and um, I know there are some shades that are harder than others for example Gilded Ganache, Black Forest Truffle, Triple Fudge the candied violet shade doesn't work for anyone and a lot of people like amaretto but i just can't really make it work so i really want to play around with the palette hopefully i can find a base or something that can work with gilded ganache because it's such a pretty shade in the pan but it pulls very very brown and muddy on my eyes um so i really want to work on this palette Plus, it is my oldest, oldest palette in my collection. I bought this in 2015. I know it's only a couple of years old. Next year, it will be three years. Yeah, I really want to pan this, but it's so scary because it's the chocolate bar, you know? Two Faced shadows are no joke, so I'm really, really scared. But I really want you guys' opinion on what to choose. Because we really want to pan them both, but I know that can't be happening. And for the Too Faced Chat and for the Chocolate Bar, I think my main goal is just to hit pan on the shadows and then maybe finish them. I don't know. The next one is my W7 palette. That is the dupe for the MAC Ember Times 9. I really, really love this palette. I love the Chocolate Bar as well. Don't get me wrong. But I love this um, and it can be very smoky. It can be very natural. I have some shimmer shades, mostly these three shades that can be used as lid shades. This is the perfect everyday shade. Because this has less product in it, I can go through it, I think. <laughs> I have been using this a lot the past week or so as well. There are some red shades and stuff like that and a gold. So they are kind of the same colors in it. I have considered panning both um, in that matter that the two 
chocolate bar is for every day and then I will add in shades to this or reverse. So my camera cut me off and I can't find my charger so I'm going to finish this on my phone. I'm really sorry you guys. So I think I said what I wanted to say in the video, so this is just the end of the video. I hope you guys will tell me what to do or what you think, um, as I just said. I hope you will follow along my progress next year and my projects. I have a lot planned out. Please subscribe to my channel so you can follow along, follow my social media in the end slide. See you guys next time in another video and please take care until then. Bye guys!